What? Oh, stupid ant. I swear, if this ant ruins my chances. Oh, I don't have any stamina. Hi, I'm KK, and coming off the heels of the last uh, disappointing episode, in my opinion, because I died not once, but twice. Uh, we're going to just kind of hop straight into this, but instead we're going to switch our focus over to the Black Widow because I feel like I should be able to take that out. And I've been looking at other armor options, and I think I do want to go ahead and do the Mother Demon set. And we're going to take this down the sleek path because this gives you Venom Coating. And that is very important because the Black Widows are 90% immune to poison, but they are not immune to Venom. Venom overrides all poison resistance. So I'm starting with the mask, of course, and we are going to do the full set. Comparing this to the roly-poly armor, what I'm losing really isn't that much. I mean, obviously taking this down the sleek path compared to the bulky path, which I believe is what I took the roly-poly armor down, I am going to lose a little bit of resistance there. Or uh, defense, not resistance. But that is fine, because the trade-off is more than worth it. Because having blocks done from the roly-poly armor is good uh, whenever I'm using a shield, but having that Venom coating is going to be a big deal. And then it's the uh, same resistance, lower defense because I went down the sleek path, as I said. Poison coating is not going to matter when fighting the Black Widow. And then the overall effect from having the full armor set, I'm losing Taunting Gaze from dropping the Roly-Poly set, but I am gaining the Poison Nova. It's not going to be great. It's going to be like, like a little bit extra damage when fighting the Black Widow, but overall when fighting other enemies, it's going to be a decent way to go. Unfortunately, the damage over time does not get boost uh, with stacking the Venom Coating, but it does increase your overall chance of applying Venom Coating by having all three pieces. Oh, I just finished a new quest. But that means I can buy one more thing from the item shop. Not that it's a big deal, but creature rugs. Actually, that is a big deal. Might have a few places I could use one of those to cover up some gaps in the floors and whatnot. And I am going to use the deuces sign again like I used on the Broodmother, because it does give you that quick moment of speed that I think will be useful for getting out of attacks against the Black Widow. And the mutation set I'm going to use is pretty similar to the Mithridatism setup I always use, except for I am going to have Apex Predator, because I am going to be using this weapon I made, the Club of the Mother Demon, so I'm just going all Mother Demon here. I was thinking this was a very bad idea initially, uh, but after thinking about it and being able to pair it with Apex Predator, it's not going to be that bad of a deal because Apex Predator for the Club of the Mother Demon gives you a chance to apply Venom. So if I can stack Venom that way, then that could be a pretty big deal. And I'm not going to start with that one that I've had flagged. I am going to start with the one under the toolbox because it's easier in and out. So if I do end up dying, hopefully I don't, then I quit doing that for the rest of this world, I can still retrieve my stuff. Unlike that one there, I don't think I'll ever retrieve my stuff from there if I die. However, if I do take this one out, I will be taking you out as well. Also, I need bee fuzz, and I'm really dreading getting bee fuzz because I have not pissed off the bees at all. Like, they're not within my circle of potential raids to happen at my base. I don't know how I've managed that, but I have, and I'm grateful for that. But it obviously comes with me not having any bee fuzz when I need it, and I need it. So I will eventually rush in there. Hopefully still not piss them off enough to where they want to come and suck the juices out of my body. The Ant Bastor, I was just thinking about this. The Ant Bastor mutation is really cool for the fact that I can just kind of be up here with the ants and they're not attacking me. I do wish there was an alternate mutation or like an alternate line that you could take mutations through specifically for this one to where they'll help you in a fight. Like if I went up and fought this ladybird and the ants around me would just kind of hop in and help me with the fight. I think that'd be a pretty sick mutation idea. I hope you're listening. Grounded 2 idea right there. That'll make the whole game. Get my bow out so I can draw out these black whittlings. Don't want to take you on if I can avoid it. Although you're probably going to end up coming right back around to me if I don't take you out now. But we'll see. We'll take the chances. Ouch. Ouch. Okie dokie. <sighs> Die. Hopefully that's not any inclination to how this fight's about to go because that was terrible. I actually need to put this on the bar. Appreciate y'all just being out here. A couple reasons I want to take them out is one, they're annoying. They will come up and bite my ankles while I'm trying to fight the, uh, what do you call it, Black Widow. And two, because the Black Widow can eat them and heal herself. 
and we don't want any of that to happen. So I do want to see if I can peek in here and take out any more before I fight you. Don't look at me. Okay, I don't see any more black widowlings. Oh god, you saw me. You weren't supposed to see me. Oh, you see another one though. So you just went up there and killed it. Okie dokie. We're just gonna wait for your effects to run out uh, since you forgot about me and then we'll go back in here and, you know, have a little fun. I just thought about this. I don't know why I kept Blade Master on for this. I need to probably natural explore. Give me that speed. Also, I can't see your health bar, so I don't know if the effects have gone away or not. I kind of want you to follow me out. I think that'll be better. hi yeah. Cool. Oh, you, oh, there you are, okay. Oh no, you've got the same boosted effects. Yes, do that. Let those go away. Didn't think you were just gonna come right back to me, but that was great that you did. Nice. Oh, not nice. Oh, I don't have any stamina. Oh my god, these attacks are so fast. Not another one. Oh, god, that's so hard to block those. Oh, there's another spiderling. Yeah, I've gone through almost all of my smoothies already, and you're not even halfway dead. But he seems stuck. Oh my god, there's no way I just cheese this. What? Oh, stupid ant. I swear, if this ant ruins my chances, this is insane. This is absolutely insane. I don't know what happened. I don't know what I did. Can y'all leave me alone? <gasps> okay. Okay. I'm honestly speechless. I don't know how you get glitched. Oh, I still see you sitting up there, though. Uh, but that was a lifesaver. I don't think I would have handled that fight. Like, I don't think I was ready for that. If it wasn't for that little wrench glitch. <sighs> All right. Let's take... Uh, did I? Yes, I have. Okay. So let's harvest your remains. <sighs> like my heart's pounding, honestly, because like watch or just seeing how that started, I felt like I was doomed. I thought I was going to experience another death. And the fact that I didn't is absolutely insane. And I will never get over the fact that that just happened. I do want to bust these sacks open to get all the good stuff. Uh, what sucks is I forgot to drop off my roly poly armor. So that's taking up some inventory space. Oh, that's only sturdy. Man, that definitely should have been supreme in here. Oh. Just a little short of getting the last thing in the shop. But got some good stuff out of that ant head. I did drop a ladybug head and some fire ant parts because uh, I wanted to keep all these webs because I am really low on the webs, so I do need some of those. But some mosquito blood sacks, black ox horns, those are good to get. Tick fangs and fire ant uh, animals. <clears throat> fire ant mandibles. It's decent stuff, really poly shell. Not stuff that's hard to get, but it's always good to collect that stuff. Definitely not hitting up that second spot that I said I was gonna hit up if I beat the first one because I would not have beaten that first one. Like I am like 100% confident that I would not have beaten that without that cheese. Which I mean, I, I don't even know if I can call it a cheese. Cause like it was just, like he got stuck, it was glitched, it was bugged, it was bugged. Huh, good one. Well, I mean, that was like the only thing I wanted to do. So <laughs> I guess that's it, I'll see you later. Just kidding. Whenever I go to drop this stuff off, I think since I can't, or I don't feel confident enough to do the Wasp Queen again, which I mean, really, I just need to learn her attacks. Like if I can get her attacks down and I can block them off and feel comfortable with blocking them and confident about that part, the rest of it wouldn't be that bad because the ads are two shot. I was able to do pretty significant damage with the Salt Morning Star. I feel like if I can get the Tick Sword up to level nine, that would be a big difference as well. Is having that life steal. You know what? Yeah, that's actually a good one. Infection slows down your enemy's attacks. That against the Black Widow would be ideal. Sorry, I know I just kind of like switched gears there, talking about the Wasp Queen back to the Black Widow. I just, I just had a thought. Infection would be great. Uh, that's where I'm going to go next whenever I can get some stuff leveled up. And whenever I have four Spider Venom, I'm going to make one of these as well. But yeah, whenever I get some more Supreme Shards and I can level up, I am going to do the Toenail Sword to take on the rest of Black Widows, or to try at least. I think that's a good one. Oh God, don't have my Tuft equipped. Did I say what I was gonna do? I don't know if I did. After I clear up my inventory, I'm gonna go start the Undershed. I mean, I could honestly complete the Undershed. I could skip the Black Widow down there, or I could try it. No, again, I think 
I wouldn't be too lucky with that. Hey, I'm going to put this weapon down for right now, though, because I don't think taking out another one will be happening anytime soon. The only problem with going through there without taking up taking out the Black Widow is that I have to commit to finishing it because there's no way back up other than going through the Black Widow again. Oh, wait, no, maybe I can jump up the roots. I don't remember if that's possible. It is also nice to know that I was right about there being a quest to take out the Black Widow. But I do still see the Black Widow as being easier than the uh, Lost Queen. So I feel like that should have come first. Maybe I'm wrong. And honestly, during that fight, that was like the only or like the first time I've felt the effects of not being able to spam the smoothies or the healing. That uh, was a little rough. I actually just remembered that I need to go take out a bunch of bees. I need 13 bee fuzz. I am so sorry for what I have to do. Hey, I am hoping I get this with as few kills as possible, because if I can manage to maintain a, a pretty friendly relationship with these bees, even after I slaughter a few of them, that would be great, because I don't want them raiding my base. I want to avoid flyers as much as possible. I've already been trying to avoid the wasp raid, uh, which I've been avoiding pretty successfully, I might add. My recent testing of how raids works has definitely been coming in handy. Haha. <laughs> All right, got the 13. Still didn't get the message that they're ready to kill me, so that is a bonus. And now I can finally finish what I've been working on in here. Well, it's not really finished, it's just started. Oops, that was an accident. You may already see. There we get the hint for what's going on. It's gonna be a little bit of a bug museum. And that's my whole list. So now I did not realize until recently, and then I haven't had the opportunity to do so, but they added the crow. Uh, to the peep sheet, and I hope this is the one I can climb up on because you have to get pretty close to peep it, apparently. Taking a look. Ah, this is close enough. Nice, good to know. So peep you, got the crow. Oh, it's immediate gold card. That makes sense. You can't kill the crow, so of course they're going to give you the gold card right away. Um, gotta be safe, guys. Don't know if they've said this yet. These definitely do respawn. I've been farming them a little bit. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, club of the mother demon down there with me in case. I do feel like I want to take out, or at least try to take out the Black Widow. Mm, okay. There's a possibility I probably should switch back to my Roly Poly armor to have higher damage resistance to be a little more tanky. But obviously, if it gets too hairy down there, I will back out and go grab the Roly Poly armor and come back in. I think my goal is to. I guess really there's no sense in me trying this without trying to move forward. So my goal will be to push forward. I do want to make a lean-to right outside as well. So the undershed is a big deal. There's a lot of enemies down there. Okay, good. Didn't want to have to start with you. And it's a big mixture of en enemies. Majority are weak to mint. So mint mallet is going to be kind of like a priority. Or I keep forgetting there's stuff right here that I haven't gotten because of that Black Widow. But the mint mallet is going to be my primary weapon down there. Oh, God, no. Don't want us to deal with you yet. And set respawn point. I actually forgot to do that over there. So, oh, well, I mean, I could have respawned at a field station right next to it. That would have been fine. But we are in here. I actually popped my head in here already, and I think I missed a folder. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, that's berry leather. Oh. The f Oh. I thought this got unlocked at the end. You mean I could have made one of these already? Because that's a quest. You know what? I'm going to go knock this quest out. I can't believe that's just been there. Whenever I edited that video where I popped my head in there, I saw that I missed a folder or what I thought was a folder, which was on the bottom shelf, but it wasn't anything you can grab. But there was research notes on the table that I completely missed for something that I thought got unlocked later on. Whenever you go down there with Wendell, I thought that's where you got it. Or when you go get Wendell. At the end of the Undershed, yeah. That's where I thought that was at, but I guess it's gotten moved. Which isn't that big of a deal, because I haven't made food in a while since I've gotten this... Excuse you. God, there's so many of you. Since I've gotten this um, everlasting hog stopper, food has not been an issue whatsoever. Although it does mean I sometimes forget to put the tuft back on the bar, so maybe I should start carrying tufts again. I like how I came all this way uh, just to go right back to craft one thing for one quest. But hopefully I'll get another quest that is relative to where I'm going, to, or at least where I can see it. It's going to happen no matter what, whether I can see it or not. I just like to know what I'm doing. I remember to do it before I got to the end. Ha ha! 
It also gives me enough to clear out the shop again. You're gonna be in here in the kitchen, my friend. Oh, I don't know where to put you. Nice, I do a little rearranging. Probably gonna forget that's here. I'm gonna come like straight over here and be like, hey, cool, so now I can store stuff. Now let's see what the new quest is going to be. Raise the banner of Burgle at, oh, Moldor Castle Roof. Yeah, okay. So why is Acid Edge before Moldor Castle? Like, I feel like that should be, so the, I think they have the end of the, the quest at the end of these in the wrong order. I mean, it makes sense that they would want to do the Black Widow after the Acid Edge because that would really help in killing the Black Widows. But I feel like they should have been moved down the list. And then this one being at, almost at the end, I don't think makes a lot of sense. But I mean, I could explore around this area, just not go underneath there right now. Because I do want to have both the endings shown. I don't want to just skip straight to the good ending. So that's why I'm waiting to do uh, Moldork's, ca Moldork's Castle or Fighting Director Schmechter. I don't know. I'm going to have to look this up to see if they changed where the Acid Edge recipe is or how to unlock it if it's in a different location than it was before. Because maybe it is now before you get to Director Schmechter. And of course, the last item in the item shop to have an empty item shop. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And I hate to do this to you because I know I just said I was going to do the Undershed, but I just feel like the Undershed is such a lengthy process and I'd rather that be in a video on its own because I feel like this is just going to make this one unnecessarily long. And, uh, you know, it would be nice to have just a short one. Just one I can pump out a little quicker because I did actually just kind of have the last one delayed because I had a lot going on. I played it on time, you know, as I would normally do and then it just didn't get edited because of everything happening. And so if I can push this one out, pretty quickly that would be great to help me try and get back on time but i mean honestly the only goal i set out was the black widow i honestly was expecting to have at least one death out of that you know learn from it and then fight again but having that glitch oh i'm stuck having that glitch was amazing and i wish i could recreate it every time i mean i know there is a way to cheese that one in that specific spot because people do it all the time i would just like to say cheese free cheese free for the most part because, you know, I have no reasons. I just want to. And I never didn't know what to do on these sign outs. I'm just walking around looking at stuff. But I really do appreciate every single one of you guys for making it this far to the end. And if you are making it this far and you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I uh, I feel like I do some pretty decent content. You know, it's, I enjoy it. Sometimes I get sucked into my own stuff when I'm like proof watching it. Um, it's fun. You know, it's a good feeling, honestly. Also, feel free to like it and share it with uh, other people you think would like it. And uh, follow me on Twitter if you want to. I don't really do much on there right now, uh, but I want to. I just don't ever like, have the mindset to get on social media, but I need to. I want to have a bigger social media presence. And I really need to work on that. I just don't think about it, you know? Anyways, before I start rambling on too much, thank you so much for watching. I, again, pre appreciate every single one of you guys and girls and... Uh, anybody else. Don't mean to leave anybody out. Until next time, I'll see you.